Good morning, beloveds. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, real quick, just a gentle seasonal reminder because tension is, you know, rising. People are sensitive. We're in a stressful time. And I just want to remind you to mind your business. <laughs> I'm serious, though. Mind your business. I have several, uh, maybe not several, I have three counseling clients that I have right now who, where this is an issue because they did not stay in their lane. And if they had stayed in their lane, minded their business, none of this would happen. People are very sensitive right now. We're in this troubled times. Um, it's the season. I mean, it started with Kwan uh, Hanukkah. And it's going to slide on down through Kwanzaa. You just got to be mindful. I mean, we should be mindful anyway. But right now, just mind your business. <laughs> I know it sounds flippant, <laughs> but I'm really serious. You know, stay in your lane. Mind your business. I have a friend named Shokai. And Shokai always has said for years, do not engage with Cray. Do not engage with Cray. And I agree with him. I, I, I totally agree with him. Um, oh, and he has these mugs now that he sells. I'll put the link in later. That he sells that say, do not engage in Cray. A great reminder. You drink your tea in the morning or your coffee. I'm a tea girl. You drink your tea in the morning and you see, do not engage in Cray. And it just keeps you on your steady path. If you're helping someone, if you're being of service, if you are being a support in a, um, in a situation, that's different. That's, that's egoless. That has nothing to do with you. It's not, it's not self-serving. But if you are all up in someone's business to get your 5, 10, 15 minutes to, to like have the, the tea and the dish on somebody, that's not cute. That's not cute. Just mind your business. Stay in your lane. When I see crazy coming, I cross the street. Or if it's too late to cross the street, I bow down reverently. I just kind of, okay, I see the cray. But I'm not going to engage with that cray. <laughs> oh my gosh, Shukai's going to love it. Um, it's just really, really simple. Unless you can do something to better the situation, unless you can do something to open their hearts and soften the situation, mind your business. But if you're going to go in there and then add to the chaos, put, f put fuel on the fire, like, if you're not creating ease and grace around something, gently and kindly remove yourself and apologize. It's really, really simple. If you got into it for the wrong reasons, you can bow out for the right reasons and bow out with grace. But just remember, in the first place, <laughs> mind your business. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. Much love. Bye.